last year. I love rings. That's like something I absolutely love. I love dainty jewelry. That's more of my vibe. I don't know. I've just always loved smaller jewelry. But rings are... I love, love, love rings. I think they're so pretty. But I love all kinds of rings too. Not even just like, I guess, girly rings, I guess you could say. Like I love the bands of just like plain, simple ones. And I always wear it on my first finger. Oh wait, I was I was gonna ring. Oh wait, 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 wait! I was gonna read that one question, and then it went too fast. Let me scroll back. <laughs> wait a minute, that was too many questions. Wait. Oh, that was what there it was. Do I play any instruments? I kind of play guitar. I played when I was younger, and I'm starting to get back into it. I don't have it with me right now, so I I haven't been practicing as much. But um, that, and then I also slight slight very beginner, very very beginner, um, piano. I'm learning like basic chords just because I want to learn some more instruments but um guitar I've acoustic guitar I've known a lot of basic chords and everything since I was younger favorite song at the moment I mean obvious driver's license <laughs> I was three and a half when I started dancing but I started in like combo classes so like tap jazz ballet and all those and then as i got older i started really loving other types of styles and genres but with uh what's funny is hip-hop's always been my favorite style but the thing is with hip-hop our studio didn't offer it growing up and so i never got to take it um i was the kid at the dance conventions we went to one dance convention every single year i was the kid at the dance convention who looked forward to the hip hop classes and the jazz funk classes the most. Like I would go through the rest of the classes. I loved them and I'd have fun. But then when those hip hop classes came on, oh, I was so down and I loved it. It was the best moment, it was just so much fun. And so I never trained in hip hop, like actually trained in it, but I just loved it. <laughs> that one, one or two days a year, I got to do it at a dance convention. And then there's a studio here in Texas that's called so real and i would take classes with them as i was getting older every now and then if i had um like a free night i'd go and i'd take classes from them and they're really incredible classes their their team is unreal unreal so i would take classes from them every now and then but i never actually like trained in hip-hop any fun stories from auditions Ooh. well i mean my audition for Julie and the Phantoms, uh, first round of auditions, it was pretty simple. I mean, I just like went in, read the script, and then I, um, or did the scenes, and then I sang my audition song, and then I left. And then I found out I got a call back, I think like two days later I found out. And then my call, my producer session, which was my callback, which that was in front of like all of Netflix, Kenny, um, Sorry, that was my speaker. Like Netflix, Kitty, <laughs> all of them. And then um, it was in front of, or not in front of, I read with Maddie. And that was when I met Maddie for the first time. And we had so much fun. It was a blast. It was such a fun, fun audition. Hi, Charlotte. Wait, you're on your school. You're watching this in school? I appreciate it so much, but go do your schoolwork. <laughs> go get that education. But I appreciate it. Hey, that's awesome. Oh my God, hi, Alina. <laughs> oh, I'd be so down for a Carrie ballad. I don't know who asked that, but I'd be so down for one. Oh, that'd be so sick. That'd be so much fun to do. Do I enjoy playing Carrier Buttercup more? Ooh. That's so hard because they're so different. They're like worlds apart. Buttercup is so happy and bubbly and energetic and then Carrie's just not. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, 
I don't know. It's also like the style of filming because Night Squad was a, like a comedy series, but it was um, a multicam. And then with Julian the Phantoms, it's single. I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't think I could pick just one. I mean, I will say I've always wanted to play the mean girl. And so getting to play Carrie was like so much fun. It was a blast. Like, I loved it. Do I think Carrie and Nick would get back together? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think it depends on where the show like ends up going if we get another season or however many seasons we hopefully get. Um, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I think it's cute for them to get back together just because they were already a couple and you know here's the thing I think that there's more to Carrie than meets the eye so I think if she became like if she kind of softened that cold exterior and kind of just like chilled out a little bit <laughs> maybe became a little more a little bit more nice I I think it would actually work and I I think that there is a part of Nick that likes something about Carrie else he wouldn't be with her you know who's crazier Owen or Charlie I don't that's Both? <laughs> Just say both? Um, crazy in their own ways. I know, these comments are going so fast. I'm like... Did I audition for only Carrie? Yeah, I only auditioned for Carrie. Um, it's so funny because with Night Squad, I auditioned for Prudence and went down to the final round for Prudence, but then I didn't get it. And our two creators, Sean and Mark, they really wanted to have me be a part of the show in some way. So they wrote Buttercup into the show. So Buttercup wasn't even, I think a Buttercup originally was supposed to be like Sage's little helper and it was going to be like a fairy or something. And it was going to be this like dude i don't know it was something like that and then they rewrote it to have it be another kid because originally that little fairy was only going to show up every now and then in like every so many episodes but then they rewrote it to um have me in the show i'm trying <laughs> trying to read this Mimi, happy birthday. <laughs> Who is the most like their character? Ooh. Jada. I think Jada. Jada's pretty solid with Flynn. Like all of the funny comments, the style, everything, it is Jada to a T. Um Yeah. I'd have to say Jade is the most like her character, for sure. I hope it wouldn't be me. That would not be good, please don't. Um, let's see. Ooh, wait, I saw a question, wait, let me go back. There's something about career, whoa, career wise. Oh, I can't find it. Of all the things I've done, what's my favorite? Oh, it's hard. Um, I think they all had like a special moment in my career. So I don't, like, I don't know how I could pick just one. I think, you know, Night Squad was my first job and that gave me my start. And so I have such a special little place in my heart for that. And then, Secret Lies of Cheerleaders, that was my first movie and it was my first lead, lead role. And that was so much fun and it was such a blast. But I don't know, I think there's something so special about Julie and the Phantoms and not only just filming it and being a part of it and witnessing like all the magic that was going on in the room, but also uh, 
the feedback and like seeing how much all of you guys love it that's been so rewarding to all of us i mean like i can't speak for everyone else but i can promise you like i could bet my life they feel the same way so it's definitely a very special thing and it's something that i don't know that just like i don't know it makes me makes me very happy <laughs>